Order, the Honourable Member for Edmonton Strathcona. Mr. Speaker, yesterday the Minister of Public Works suggested her new anti-corruption measures will address any subcontracting problems or illegalities, including under the SNC Lavalin management contract. While I appreciate her generous offer for briefing, which I'm certain my colleagues on the Standing Committee and Government Operations will enjoy, could she today clarify how precisely these measures will be made retroactive to existing contracts and subcontracts, and are they being applied and enforced by this government or by contractors? The Honourable Minister of Public Works. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As I said yesterday in the House, our contractual obligations are with the general contractor. Right. In this particular instance, uh, the contract with this general contractor is for the operations and maintenance of our federal buildings. Our objectives is always to have the high quality work done by the lowest cost to taxpayer, and this general contractor did put in the lowest compliant bid. But in terms of this general contractor, when allegations, uh, specific allegations were made, we brought in PricewaterhouseCoopers and we have implemented all of the auditor's recommendations with this general contractor.